Sometimes fiction can become reality. Pigs are definitely stupid. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we're not. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 famous movies that started real-life trends. For this list, we're taking a look at popular films that encouraged actual fads in everyday life. I love what you're wearing. Oh, you do? Yeah? Oh, well, it's, uh, this is, a uh, this tie is a present from Grammy Hall. Number 10. Women in Masculine Clothing. Annie Hall. I look pretty. Well, yeah, you always look pretty, but that guy with you. With the women's liberation movement breaking out in the 1960s and 1970s, female fashion went through some drastic changes. Rather than wearing dresses, more women started to sport trousers and other clothes that are generally considered masculine. The titular character of Annie Hall notably helped spark this trend. You want a lift? Oh, why? Uh, y you got a car? With a mix of female and male attire, she had a distinctive wardrobe that was all her own. Her apparel inspired numerous other women to go against the norm as well. But surely you didn't give up on love after just one setback. Love is our only defense against the abyss in this meaningless universe. Annie Hall thus emerged as something of a feminist icon, but without calling attention to herself. She truly wore the pants in her relationship, not to mention the necktie. Fifteen years, huh? Fifteen years, yeah. <laughs> oh. God bless. <laughs> Number 9. Borat Impressions. Borat. Yes, you match. I'm my name is Borat. I like you. I like sex. It's nice. Sasha Baron Cohen captivated the world in 2006 with the release of Borat, a comedy about a journalist from Kazakhstan exploring American customs. Shortly after the film hit theaters, it wasn't long until everybody started impersonating the titular character. Respect. He's nice. Sexy time became a household phrase. Very nice was used in everyday conversation. And not jokes even became a comeback of sorts. That suit is black. Not. Uh, this suit is not black. No, no, not has to be the end. The comedy proved so quotable that the screenplay actually scored an Oscar nomination. While Borat impressions aren't as widespread as they once were, many of the film's classic lines continue to stick with us. We're just glad that Borat's mankini never really caught on. This suit is black. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, not. quite... Number 8. Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Risky Business. The dream is always the same. Instead of going home, I go to the neighbors. Tom Cruise has been one of the biggest stars on the planet for well over three decades. He reached the pinnacle of cool in the early 80s, however, following his breakout role in Risky Business. Just take those old records off the shelf. I said, listen to them by myself. Audiences still remember Cruise dancing in his underwear with old time rock and roll playing. But his character's look wouldn't have been complete without the Ray Ban Wayfarers he dons in the movie poster and later on in the film. All I'm saying is. Walk like a man. Subsequent to a substantial decline in sales, these sunglasses took on a second life thanks to risky business. It's like University of Illinois. Right, right. 360,000 pairs were sold in 1983 alone. From the second Cruz put his wayfarers on, he went on from being an ordinary high school student to the hippest kid on the block. Consumers seemed convinced that wayfarers could do the same for them. Hi, Perry. No, no, but you can get, get out. Well, I get thought out. it could be fun. No. Perry, he said no. Number 7. Real Fight Clubs. Fight Club. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. You do not talk about Fight Club. When David Fincher's 1999 movie came out, though, it was impossible not to talk about Fight Club. This controversial film resonated with numerous people across the country. It even inspired some young men to start their own fight clubs. Oh god, is this a fight club? Since the dawn of the 21st century, there have been various reports of real-life fight clubs, including San Fran's Gentlemen's Fight Club. Fight clubs have been organized through Craigslist and videos can be found all over the internet. Tyler Durden might not be real, but his influence is indisputable. Hey, you created me. I didn't create some loser alter ego to make myself feel better. Take some responsibility. Number 6. Pet Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians. One day, very soon, Congo, I'm going to make a sale. It isn't at all uncommon for hit movies to instigate pet trends, especially when a lovable canine takes center stage. Following the release of Lassie Come Home, 
Collie registrations increased by 40% with the American Kennel Club. Come along, Lassie, get inside here. Come on. Even more significantly, Dalmatian sales went through the roof following Disney's live-action remake of 101 Dalmatians. Children everywhere suddenly wanted a dog just like Pongo and Purdy. Unfortunately, Dalmatians are a lot harder to train than the film suggested. Although the breed was in high demand for a brief period, many families either abandoned their pet Dalmatian or dropped them off at the pound. Was this all part of Cruella de Vil's master plan? I live for fur. I worship fur. After all, is there a woman in all this wretched world who doesn't? Number 5. 90s Fashion – Clueless What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. Back in the 90s, men wanted Alicia Silverstone, and women wanted to be her. It's not surprising that so many teenage girls modeled their wardrobe after Silverstone's career-defining role. Do you know what time it is? A oh, watch doesn't really go with this outfit, Daddy. Cher Horowitz might have been one of the most clueless characters ever to grace the silver screen, but she was also one of the most fashionable. Mini skirts and plaid attire were all the rage because of Cher who stood out as the official mascot for Valley Girls. Did you get your report card? Yeah, I'm toast. How'd you do? Ugh, I totally choked. My father is gonna go ballistic on me. Her white Calvin Klein dress in particular became every young lady's dream ensemble. Do you prefer fashion victim or ensemble challenge? Ugh. While Clueless primarily inspired 90s fashion, it's still having an impact even two decades later. Just look at Iggy Azalea's fancy music video. First things first, I'm the realest. realest. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Let them feel it. Number 4. Guy Fox Masks V for Vendetta We're off to blame and this just too much proved. Guy Fox was the man behind the gunpowder plot of 1605. After his failed assassination attempt against King James I, November 5th was forever cemented in history. Remember, remember the 5th of November. The Guy Fox mask wouldn't break out into the mainstream popularity until 2006, however, with the adaptation of Alan Moore's classic graphic novel V for Vendetta. In the film, the titular vigilante dons a Guy Fox mask in a crusade against a ruthless government. People should not be afraid of their governments. Government should be afraid of their people. The hacktivist group known as Anonymous followed V's example in 2008 wearing Guy Fox masks during their protest against the Church of Scientology. According to illustrator David Lloyd, the Guy Fox mask has become a common brand and a convenient placard to use in protest against tyranny. Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. Number 3. 80s Fashion – Flashdance You're Alex. I know. Alicia Silverstone might have epitomized 90s apparel, but the 80s had its own fair share of fashionistas. 80s fashion reached a whole new level of sex appeal when Madonna starred in Desperately Seeking Susan. Oh my god, we all thought you were dead. Well, just in New Jersey. Meanwhile, Jennifer Beals defined this generation's signature look through her role in Flashdance. Playing an exotic dancer with big dreams, Beals popularized ripped t-shirts, leg warmers, and off-shoulder sweatshirts. Virtually, every woman adopted this style. Heck, even the Peanuts gang got on board with the fad. Although people often look back on the 80s as a fashion disaster, nobody can deny that Beals made everybody want to dance like a maniac. Flash dance. Good movie, better costume. And your Oscar the Grouch. Number two, the beatnik look, funny face. We have to work together, you know. You don't have to be friendly to work together. Of all the fashion trailblazers on this list, Audrey Hepburn arguably had the greatest impact. Hepburn solidified her place in fashion and film history with her iconic look in Breakfast at Tiffany's, sporting a black cocktail dress, oversized sunglasses, and elegant pearls. Before that, Hepburn prompted the beatnik look in funny face. As a bookshop clerk turned model, the actress launched black turtlenecks and black cigarette pants into the public eye. Oh, me softly, and I'm still this look would greatly influence the beat generation throughout the 50s and 60s. Even today, people still sport beatnik ensembles, although that's usually because they're trying to be ironic. I've got to go to bed. I don't want you to spend your entire life retouching my pictures. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. That's 
It's 100% Pinot Noir, single vineyard. They don't even make it anymore. Pinot Noir? Uh-huh. How come it's white? Hey, you're a cloudfish. <laughs> you're funny, right? Hey, tell us a joke. Yeah. Well, actually, that's a common misconception. Clownfish are no funnier than any other fish. Number one, hunting decreased. Bambi. Your mother can't be with you anymore. When people think of devastating movie moments, the death of Bambi's mom usually comes to mind. The film left children everywhere drowning in a river of their own tears. It's safe to say that Bambi had an impact on plenty of adults as well. Bambi, quick, the thicket! years following the film's initial release, the number of deer hunted in the United States reportedly went down by almost half. Whenever somebody objects to killing cute or adorable animals, it's often referred to as the Bambi effect. Mama, where are you? It might have traumatized audiences for generations to come, but at least Bambi spared the lives of countless cuddly creatures. Bambi's mommy. Pet, I'd like to buy a vowel. Do you agree with our list? What other movies started real life trends? You can be young without money, but you can't be old without it. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Ugh, oh, as if!